Hi, welcome back to my channel. Our guest for today is Hanamichi Sakuragi and the star players of Team Shouhoku. They will help us in our today's lesson. In our previous lessons, we had an introduction regarding the literary elements in our lesson number 13 and the elements of the plot in lesson number 14. If you fail to watch our videos about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, I present to you the vocabulary words that you will encounter in our discussion. Try to match the words to their correct definition in the left column. I'll give you a moment to think about your answers. Time's up! Here are the correct answers. Before we talk about our guest for today, I want you to remember that you should listen to the story very carefully and take down notes of important details. Don't forget to prepare a pen and paper with you so that you can list down all the important details. I also want you to take note of these following questions. 1. Who are the characters in the story? 2. Where did the story happen? Three. What problem did the main characters in the story encounter? 4. What happened in the beginning of the story? 5. What is the most exciting part of the story? 6. What happened at the end of the story? And then last, number 7. What did you learn in the story? Now, let's talk about a short story about Shouhoku's journey in the inter-high. This short story was posted by Idnavon on the 30th of January 2011 in idnavonwordpress.com. Sakuragi and the gang left Kanagawa for the Nationals. They first faced Toyotama in the first round. It was a tough match. If it wasn't for Toyotama's lack of discipline, Shouhoku would have lost the match. Tokawa played a great part in this match and Sakuragi's training camp jump shots really paid off. Their next opponent is the former three-time champions, Sano. The night after beating Toyotama, Shoku watched the videotape of the match from last year against Kainan and Sano. Kainan lost by 20 points. This got Shoku worried except Sakuragi. He just doesn't know why to be scared. Meanwhile, Sano faced the former Sano team who are all-stars in college right now. To the surprise of the veterans, the new Sano squashed the old Sano. They are indeed ready. Sano has never faced defeat which means their fans never felt it too. The day of the competition arrived. Shoku entered the hostile crowd which treated them as the bad guys. Not a single soul cheered for Shoku. Although this was the case, Shoku was focused on the match. Sakuragi opened the match with an alley-oop from Miyagi which surprised everyone. The red-headed Tensai followed it up with another. Mitsui was guarded by the best defender of Sano but he still managed to make three consecutive three-pointers. Shouhoku managed to take the lead at halftime, 36-34. At the opening of the second half, Sano were the first to get to the court. They executed perfect full court press which troubled Shouhoku. Sawakita and the gang made the score 36-60. Rukawa is just outskilled by his fellow ace rookie and Akagi admits defeat to Masashi. Coach Anzai's secret weapon Hanamichi Sakuragi only got better. Sakuragi demonstrates rebounding ability along with blocking shots. Mitsui shot three pointers even though his body denies him. Miyagi's spirit went up when Ayako wrote number one point guard on his right hand. They closed in the gap 
76. Sakuragi injured his spine in his attempt to save the ball. He was replaced by Kogure, but he insisted to play, risking his whole basketball life. Mitsui managed to make a three-pointer and get a foul. The score is now 75-76. Rukawa goes for the layup but it was denied by Masashi Kawata. Sakuragi dives for the ball again and passes to the wide open Rukawa. The first ever pass for Rukawa. Rukawa makes the shot as Sakuragi looks on. Shouku 77-76. The last 24 seconds, somehow Sawakita brings the ball down and nails it. A two point shot to lead Sano, 77 78. 10 seconds remaining, Sakuragi runs down the court. 7 seconds, Akagi is trying to find an open man to pass the ball. He finds Rukawa and passes the ball to him. Rukawa runs the ball down, he pulls up with 2 seconds remaining. Meanwhile, Sakuragi tries to remember everything coach Anzai taught him about jump shot. Suddenly, Rukawa makes a sneaky pass to Sakuragi, the first ever pass also from Rukawa. Sakuragi uses the knees, relaxes the upper body, shuts the ball, it goes in, and it counts. Time's over. Shouku wins the game. Now, let's answer the question that we had earlier. 1. Who are the characters in the story? The characters in the story are Hanamichi Sakuragi, Kaide Rokawa, Hisachi Mitsui, Ryota Miyagi, Takenori Akagi, the whole Shouko team, Toyotama team, and the team of Sano. 2. Where did the story happen? The story happened in the basketball stadium designates for the Inter High Games and at Coach Anzai Mitsuyoshi's house. 3. What problem did the main characters in the story encounter? The problem that Team Shouhoku had is how they will beat Team Sano. 4. What happened in the beginning of the story? Sakuragi and the gang left Kadagawa for the Nationals. 5. What is the most exciting part of the story? The most exciting part of the story is when Shouhoku closed in the gap to Sano, 71-76. 6. What happened at the end of the story? Sakuragi nailed a jump shot to win the game for Shouhoku against Sano, 79-78. And the last, number 7, what did you learn in the story? You can do anything if you help one another. Your answer in question number 1 enumerates the characters in the story. Your answer in number 2 specifies the setting used in the story. The answer in number 3 identifies the conflict in the story, while your answers in numbers 4, 5, and 6 shows the plot of the story, and your answer in number 7 shows the theme of the story, character, setting, conflict, plot, and theme are the 5 major elements of a narrative. The five main elements of a narrative are the main ingredients in a story. Characters are the main people or other living things that are involved in the story. The goal of the writer here is to show the characters through their behaviors, show what motivates the characters, and make the characters realistic. We'll discuss deeper about this in our next video. Setting pertains to the different scenes in the story. The goal of the writer here is to paint a picture of the scene, create a mood, establish context for the story, time, and location. Conflict is the problem or challenge the main character in the story face. The goal of the writer here is to create tension and interest in the story by making readers doubt that the character will be successful and create a problem that motivates and drives the actions of the characters. We'll discuss deeper about conflict in our succeeding videos. Plot deals about how the problem is introduced, what steps does the character take to solve the problem, and how the problem is solved. The goal of the writer here is to create a series of events that show how the character strives to overcome the problem or the conflict, and create a plot that feels original and avoid cliches. We've already discussed the plot in our previous lesson. And the last major element is the theme. 
theme deals on what does the story seek to tell us about life or human nature and what's the message of the story. The goal of the writer here is to write a story that means something more to readers than the surface level enjoyment of events in the plot. Don't make the theme or message obvious or repetitive. Remember that the five major elements of a narrative are character, setting, conflict, plot, and theme. <laughs> now, for me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. For your today's seat work, you're going to read the story then answer all the questions that follows. I'll give you a minute to read the story and another minute to answer all the questions. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. Time's up! Let's check your work! Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the major elements of a narrative. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!